Remember those anti-Obamacare restaurants, including the Darden restaurants, which are the owners of Red Lobster and the delicious Olive Garden, a true Italian feast, Lewis? Oh, disgusting. In any case, they've now announced that their profit has plunged 37%, and they admit that in part it is because of the bad publicity surrounding their anti-Obamacare messages and the uh, intimations they made that they were going to not hire people full-time or lay people off or, or move people from full-time to part-time, they've now come out and basically said, we're not doing any of that stuff and people just misunderstood. But they are at least on a, co a company conference call. The CEO, Clarence Otis, said that it is true. It is a secondary issue, he said. But it is true that the negative press around that did affect their bottom line. I'm glad. Yeah, uh, same here. I mean, uh, first of all, I don't know who could eat at these restaurants. To, to well, that's the with. thing. Who, who would go to Olive Garden anyway? So bad. And here's the thing. People sometimes, when, we, when you, you issue a criticism of some of these chains, they say, well, not everybody can go afford to go to a, a nice Italian restaurant. Olive Garden's not that cheap. Like, yeah. if you go at night to Olive Garden, unless you get, like, the one special thing on the menu, it's not like it's a great deal. It's priced very similarly, uh, particularly in, in our area and many other areas I've been to. It's not really that different than an actual Italian restaurant. Right. Now, I can understand if you live somewhere in the Midwest or right. one of these areas where the only restaurant for a decent restaurant for you know 10 miles is, yeah. is an Olive Garden. I've been more. to some places in the Midwest where you come across a Panera and you think you 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 know you think of salvation because there is just literally nothing. Uh, but but you know that doesn't apply to a lot of parts of this country. That's true. Yeah. Here's a novel idea. What about if they improve the quality of the food and the customer service and see what that does to the bottom line? That's too expensive. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm going to continue my boycott of Olive Garden and Red Lobster because of the Obamacare stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Oh, well, <laughs> come on. You've been boycotting those restaurants long before. That. It's not really a boycott. I just, no, no. I just haven't gone. Yeah. It's not like you're rallying people not to go. It's just. Yeah. It's Someday disgusting. I should tell the story of when a, a, a mutual acquaintance of, uh, of, of, of mine and of Lewis's wanted to have his birthday meal at an Olive Garden that was like an hour outside of where we live. That was, it was a dark time, let me just say that. Rough. Yeah, let's take a break. Facebook.com slash David Pakman Show. We've got the special going on, davidpakman.com slash holidays. Coming up next, is Britain just as gun obsessed as the US or not? We'll talk about that with Dennis Campbell. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.